never seen this guy. are in order. Maybe you're not as stupid as I've been led to believe. Why are you doing this, Enigma? Direct. I like it. So, I'll tell you. Gotham sullied. It's filled with brutes who control this city through violence and intimidation. You didn't answer my question. Because you didn't let me finish! <clears throat> I want to get rid of them, Batman, to improve Gotham's intellectual and moral standing. But I'm not a thug like you. My approach is a bit more... Refined. What you're doing is no different than stealing. There's nothing refined about it. <laughs> Your response is as predictable as it is banal. Goodbye. Now I can access the SIM card I took from that arms dealer and hack Penguin's communications. Crackers bland. Do your breakfast pancakes need an extra bit of sweet flavor? Do you like the taste of fruit? Try my product, KJ's Fruit Preserves. My jams are legendary with extra large chunks of sugary fruit bits right there in the jar. You can find all the flavors of my home canned fruit preserves at your local supermarket right by the jellies. Remember, KJ's Sweet Fruit Preserves. No. <laughs> the the Gotham City Zoo? May have a large primate on the loose. Copy, 1-3. What's it look like? Looks like O'Malley's mother. It looks like a large primate, 3-1. Could be a gorilla. I'm sure you can handle it. That's what I said to his mother, too. I know what you sound like, Charlie. 
Cut the chatter. Acknowledge Command 3-1. We've got enough going on tonight without you two going at it on an open channel. Copy, Control. Clear? 5-7, we copy. Tell Mrs. O'Malley Merry Christmas for the primates at the precinct. Thank you. In words, violent actions being the loudest. In June, several large bombs were detonated across the United States. At each site, flyers were left behind. They bore the title, Plain Words. The bombings were meant to call attention to the serious issues facing American citizens. The freedoms once guaranteed to them by the country's founders were slowly being stripped away. The government's increasingly fascist tactics would culminate in the Red Scare. Fear of the outsider led to increased warrantless surveillance, raids against U.S. citizens, mass imprisonments, and in some cases, execution. If it sounds familiar, that's because it is. Just replace communist or socialist or anarchist with the word terrorist. The names change, but the repressive tactics and fear-mongering stay the same. The text I'm about to read you is nearly a century old. That it's still just as relevant today shows you how little we've managed to learn. Until we break the shackles of our fascist capitalist masters, we will never know true freedom. So, without further ado, here is plain words. The powers that be make no secret of their will to stop, here in America, the worldwide spread of revolution. The powers that be must reckon that they will have to accept the fight they have provoked. A time when the social question solution can be delayed no longer. Class war is on, and cannot cease but with a complete victory for the international proletariat. The challenge is an old one, O oh democratic lords of the autocratic republic. We have been dreaming of freedom. We have talked of liberty. We have aspired to a better world. And you jailed us. You clubbed us. You deported us. You murdered us whenever you could. Now that the great war waged to replenish your purses and build a pedestal for your saints is over, nothing better can you do to protect your stolen millions and your usurped fame than to direct all the power of the murderous institutions you created for your exclusive defense against the working multitudes rising to a more human conception of life. The jails, the dungeons you rear to bury all protesting voices, are now replenished with languishing conscientious workers, and never satisfied, you increase their number every day. It is history of yesterday that your gunmen were shooting and murdering unarmed masses by the wholesale. It has been the history of every day in your regime, and now all prospects are even worse. Do not expect us to sit down and pray and cry. We accept your challenges, and mean to stick to our war duties. We know that all you do is for your defense as a class. We also know that the proletariat has the same right to protect itself. Since their press has been suffocated, their mouths muzzled, we mean to speak for them the voice of dynamite through the mouth of guns. Do not say we are acting cowardly because we keep hiding. Do not say it is abominable. It is war, class war, and you were the first to wage it under cover of the powerful institutions you call order in the darkness of your laws behind the guns of your boneheaded slave. No liberty to you except but yours. The working people also have a right to freedom. And their rights, our own rights, we have set our minds to protect at any price. We are not many, perhaps more than you dream of, though but are all determined to fight to the last, till a man remains buried in your bastilles, till a hostage of the working class is left to the tortures of your police system, and will never rest until your fall is complete, and the laboring masses have taken possession of all that rightly belongs to them. There will be bloodshed. We will not dodge. There will have to be murder. We will kill because it is necessary. There will have to be destruction. We will destroy to rid the world of your tyrannical institutions. We are ready to do anything and everything to suppress the capitalist class. Just as you are doing anything and everything to suppress the proletarian revolution. Our mutual position is pretty clear. What has been done by us so far is only a warning that there are friends of popular liberty still living. Only now we are getting into the fight. And you will have a chance to see what liberty-loving people can do. Do not seek to believe that we are the Germans or the Devil's Paid Agents. You know well we are class-conscious men with strong determination and no vulgar liability. And never hope that your cops and your hounds will ever succeed in ridding the country of the anarchist germ that pulses in our veins. We know how we stand with you and know how to take care of ourselves. Besides, you will never get all of us, and we multiply nowadays. Just wait and resign to your fate, 
since privilege and riches have turned your heads. Long live social revolution! Down with tyranny! The pamphlet was signed, The Anarchist Fighters. There's a lot in the flyer to digest and discuss. But I know a lot of you out there can sympathize with the ideas expressed inside. We've tried working within the political machine, but the deck is stacked against us. The system is not designed to be an engine for change. It's more like a vacuum, pulling in all our grievances and then dumping them into the trash. If we want to be heard, we need to speak out. And words alone aren't going to cut it. This is Anarchy, and you're listening to Free Wave, radio of the people, for the people. I thought I'd kick things off tonight with a reading from Plain Words. But first, a little background for those... <laughs> Penguin's pretty pissed off about the deal going south. Yeah, if I was involved in that, I'd be on my way out of the city. Alfred, I'm reading a signal from Penguin's men, but it's not associated with any known wireless frequency. Ah, yes, I see it here. Looks like Penguin runs his own private wireless network, using laptop transmitters serving as ad hoc comm stations. He's feeding his men frequencies via two-way radio. There are two of these comm stations near your position. Good. Mark them on my map. If I can find and hack those walkie-talkies, I can triangulate Penguin's position. 